like, subscribe, share with your best friend. If you don't have a best friend, share with your mama. If you don't like your mama, share with your sister. If you ain't got no sister, send it to your brother. Share it. Subscribe it. Like Alrighty, it. Alrighty, guys. I okay. know I've been gone for a minute. And let me tell you, it's been a struggle, okay? But I have been gone actually doing things. I haven't just been gone. Not Well, I've done a lot of nothing, too. So I ain't, I ain't even going to front like that. But I'm back. I'm coming back again with a banger. Because I'm coming back to show you guys Auric. Um, which is actually releasing today that I'm putting up this video. So um, on the 26th, and this is Samantha Randall's new beauty line. In case you're living under a rock and you just don't know, this is Auric. I'm gonna be um, using the Glow Less. She's coming out with two products. So the Glow Less and uh, Shadow Reflect. I'm gonna be using both of that, both of these products today and um, this like little tutorial. I'm gonna be using other products too, but I am gonna talk a little bit more about them because your girl, you know, <laughs> with one of the makeup artists on set for the launch of this brand. Um, some of you know that, some of you don't know that, some of you just don't care and that's cool, you know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna talk about it cause I'm excited. And oh, you know, you should be excited too period um y'all like my hair i'm trying to grow my hair out right now you know what i'm saying i got a little uh, the little swoop dupes swoop dupes going on um that was a lot but i got a little swoop -doop, you know what i'm saying anyway so i'm gonna do my makeup prep moisturizer and i'm actually going to use glow last for this all right so i did an instagram um live showing uh the glow lust from and this is how the bottle look at the bottle y'all look at this it's a frosted glass bottle okay and then we got the nice little gold is inch width or whatever with the black cap you know what i'm saying it comes with a pump yes yes it's heavy yes everything that we love about luxury you know what I'm saying? It's luxury. 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 So for you peeps who don't know what Glow Lust is, this is a radiant luminizer. Um, it's not foundation. I just mixed it in with my moisturizer. I'm using the color Pyrite. I feel like I'm always, always butchering that. But that's that's the name i'm using this and i'm gonna use this in my moisturizer to just give me like a radiant base and i'm using that colors um it wouldn't be the luminizer that i use on top of my foundation but because i'm going to be using it under it's going to get covered up it is really okay because these are sheer with using that shade you can actually you can see very well that glow baby that glow um i know i was telling people in the comments to get more than one shade like get your skin tone of course to wear on top but to also get either a bronzing one if you like a really warm bronzer not if you want like a traditional liquid bronzer it's not gonna be that it's like super warm and you'll see how i use it today but um either that or just something like that's just a little bit lighter than what your skin tone would be because it's really really pretty underneath the foundation my opinion you can also just get one because you know we are in a pan de queso so it's all up to you for real for real for real i don't know what i want to do with my eyes so i think i'm gonna go in with my eyes first you know as a precautionary okay so i'm using the shake primer from kat von d shake 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 it up do you guys remember that song? I forgot who it was about. It was like, shake, 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 sh
shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. That has been my quarantine, y'all, is me reminiscing on the good old days. Oh, shit. Don't put that on my eye. So I'm going to go in with my bodyography. This is the Pure Pigment Palette. And this is how it looks. Very, very, very pretty, isn't it? Artiste sent over some brushes um, during the holiday to me. And they sent over this cleaning pad, like for the their brushes and then like this uh brush cleaning foam but i've been using it for my re regular brushes and it is a godsend let me tell you if y'all hear shooting in the background that's my sister watching a movie because nobody respects me in this house i have a look in my head oh do i want to do that or do i want to use green because i've also been feeling green if you can't tell my shirt is like a forest green i've been like slowly turning into a little plant like a human plant and there's this really pretty green in here it's a shade that i picked up originally i'm gonna show you guys it's so pretty it looks brighter on screen but it's like a way more like muted green in person i think i'm gonna use that little tip for you guys if you have a hard time with making your other eye look the same always start out with the side that you're not dominant on so if you're dominant on your left Start out with your right, and if you're dominant on your right, start out with your left. It's easier to match it up on your dominant side. I have a little bit of glitter in here from um, my cleansing pad, actually, because I actually need to cleanse my cleansing pad, too. Look at this pigmentation. It's so nice. Y'all probably want to hear about how it was working on set with, um, with Sam, with Samantha Randall. And let me tell you, I was on set with, um, the, like the makeup team was, uh, Sam, myself, and Gabby, who is, um, her name is Midnight Weirdo on Instagram, Midnight underscore Weirdo on Instagram. Uh, so it was us as the team and, um literally the best experience of my professional career honestly I've never been on a set that like ran so smoothly and I wasn't um like entirely stressed out the entire time nobody was coming up to me you know and it's normal to be on um on set and like people asking you about like how long is it going to take you to finish up something or you know just for for time's sake for the photographer so I was you I'm used to that and that's not necessarily a problem I'm going in with that um yellow now around the edges um so that's not really necessarily a problem for me because I'm used to it and that's what I was honestly expecting because I mean this is this is like a a, a legit brand that's launching you know that's is was going to be huge so um because, you know, it's sent me up the random wall. I'm going to say, like, how um, people be like, Beyonce? Like, it was Samantha, you know? Um, so, um, I wasn't expecting, you know, an easy peasy day. And by no means was it, like, easy peasy or anything like that. But, like, it was just so professional. And it was just, it was such a joy. Everything was scheduled correctly. The models coming in. Like, everything just flowed flawlessly and I just appreciated it so much and um also too I love the chemistry of the team it was like walking in and seeing Sam it was like I was seeing a long lost friend forever she's so Sam if you do watch this I want you to make it through this whole little spill that I'm gonna say I see a lot of people on the internet say that um Samantha is like either cold or she's very like I don't know um and it's just all a lie it's all a lie Samantha is like the teeniest little she's like so warm so warm so sweet her and her mother both there is just like she exudes warmness you know and she's 
so humble so easy to talk to it literally was like i was walking in and seeing a childhood friend and i was like hey girl what's up we finna work we finna do it we finna do it today like it wasn't anything like it was just so such such a wonderful experience um and then same thing with gabby too i um saw her on instagram even walking in and working with her it was just like the chemistry of the team flowed so nicely so if another model needed a touch up or anything like we needed to be anywhere it was a team it wasn't like oh well that's your model i'm not gonna touch them like it was nothing like that and then also too with our setups it was like oh i've never used this product before or if you want to try this product like try it touch it like we were all able to just flow with each other and it was just such a wonderful experience such a wonderful experience so it was just a great a great day on set you know great day on set so um i remember when sam reached out to ask me about <laughs> working on the shoot and um I sent my portfolio my like professional portfolio of my work and everything over because you know in case any of the other team members wanted to see my work you know just to make sure it was legit and um that I was legit um I remember she was like you know like I know if this is you know an inconvenience or anything you know just let me know I totally understand if you can't do it and I was like girl even if I had a job to do I would be like look y'all gonna have to work something out because I'm gonna go on this set because I'm gonna work with Samantha Miranda about Samantha Samantha like it, again again with me saying like just so so humble like I would actually say no you know like I would actually say no like I'm not gonna say no this is you know a Dewey girl's dream Dewey girl's dream a makeup artist dream again if you follow me on Instagram then you know I have been loving defiance so you saw the glow lust that I have on my um, skin and then um, this is the shadow reflect and she ha she came out with three colors so it comes with like a glitter shadow topper and then underneath you have the cream product just like this, like that, like this, like that. So um, you can use both on their own or you can put down the um, cream and then put the shadow on top. Highly recommend. It's very cute. It does come like um, it's a little mirror on here as well. So super travel friendly. I'm trying to figure out if I want to use Ego or if I want, again, if y'all hear my family, if I want to use Temper, because I haven't used Temper as is mooch. I'm going to use Ego's cream shadow part. And then I'm going to use Temper on top of Ego. We're going to do a little concoction. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it over. You can, you know, you can see that color. Boom. Okay. So I'm going to take this and what I'm going to do is I am going to blend it up into that green. I'm not cutting my crease or anything like that because I want this to be a little bit more of an effortless type of look i haven't been into like super super structured um looks like i'm not not a fan of it because i love it too but just something like easy you know what i'm saying like i don't want to like think too hard about it but i'm going to show you guys kind of how to do like a faux cut crease you see how easily that blends out though. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a lighter hand around the edges, cause we're going for like a little, like the um, half of a heart shape. You know, call this a Valentine's Day look. Boom. 
uh, now that I'm putting this down though, I'm like, dang, do I want to use temper on top of this or do I just want to go in with ego because this is such a pretty like green type of thing because like I could just leave it like this and it's so pretty. So I'm thinking that I am going to go in with ego instead of temper. I will because see, you see egos like glitter. Oh like that greeny silver like that neutral it's just it's beautiful take a fluffy brush and I'm gonna take that shimmer and I'm just gonna pack it on just like that boom look at that look at it mm, 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 mm. So I'm actually going to take this and really focus it kind of like in the crease and just like this, just like so, just like that, that's perfect. Same thing, just taking it right there in like that crevice. And it's really creating like that, like I actually cut my crease even though I did not. And I'm taking it all the way through that crease that we kind of created. And then I'm actually going to go in with a gray to my lash line. I'm gonna go on to a gray with, to my lash line. So I'm going to go in, this is the Moroccan um, Spice Palette. And I'm gonna go in, let me see if I can show this to you guys without blinding you. I'm gonna go in with this color right here. It's a really pretty, um, pretty like dark, smoky gray. But I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna take it right on my lash line. So I'm gonna just build up that layer of that gray. Really like an outline and not doing a wing. I'm just kind of like going back and forth to blend it right there at the end, just like that. I'm gonna go in now with, there is this really dark, um, almost turquoise. It has like a blue undertone um, in the Rockin' uh, palette, this right here. I'm gonna go in with that to go on top of the base of the liner. So the reason that I'm going in with this, so it's gonna match perfectly with the green, but also too, it's gonna add shimmer to it because I do want this to kind of be like a, like a glamorous like almost all shimmer eye so and it's also significantly darker so it's gonna help with that smoking out but it's gonna pair so nicely with that shimmer okay so now i'm going back in with that gray that i um first used just to go over it to kind of blend it out even more and blow it out a little bit more Ew. Ew. So nice. I'm gonna show you guys how I bronze with glow lust so back to auric okay so um, this is the glow lust and axe night axe night axe night and I'm gonna pump some of that on the back of my hand a half pump because you don't need a, a full pump is a lot I can tell you. So I'm gonna take a um, half pump. I'm gonna take, this is um, the Precision um, um, sponge from e.l.f. I had to think about like what it was. I wanted to say brush. So I'm gonna take that just on the side like that. And I'm gonna tap in just like that. And what is nice about this, like versus um, like when you're using, if you're using contour or anything or like concealer for bronzer or, or any of that, it um, has a little bit more coverage. This has such a like sheer type of coverage. So it just blends flawlessly, but then also you see that glow of the skin. It just, I don't know. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I love the way it makes my cheeks look because I don't really set down my face at all. So this is just perfect for me. 
And then I'm going to take my actual highlight shade, which is Citrine. So I'm gonna take some of that, same thing, half pump on the back of my hand. And then I'm gonna use the other side of this sponge, tap in, and then I'm gonna put it right there so you guys can see. And I'm gonna keep this in real time. I'm not gonna um, edit it out edit it out to like speed it up or anything. I'm gonna put this in real time so y'all can see. Y'all can see that glow. Mm. Look at that. Look at that. So a lot of people um, were like, you know, because it's not your traditional like shimmery um, illuminate, illuminator. And that is because when you add shimmer into something, it really emphasizes your texture when you're putting it on top of a dewy base or you know any, any type of base. It really emphasizes when you actually have chunks of glitter in the highlighter, you don't have that. You have a pearl reflect, but you don't have chunks of glitter. So it's not gonna emphasize that texture as you see. It just looks like my skin is perfectly illuminated. It also has some coverage to it, which is really nice when you're putting it on top of foundation. It's not going to pick it up where you have like this hollowness on the top of your cheeks. So that is one of the things I love about this because, you know, working with cream products, especially, you know, going in with a brush or a sponge or anything, it is really easy for you to just kind of like blend away your foundation this isn't going to do that. And because of the small amount of coverage that it has, it actually kind of just adds and blends right into your foundation. Look at that. Look at that glow. I'm gonna go down the center of my nose as well. Right here. Look at that glow. Mm. 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 That's all I can say is mm. Mm. just gonna take I take this powder because it looks like a season I take it in the palm of my hand to warm up the powder so it's not just going on my skin cold I'm just gonna take that and I'm gonna put it in the center I'm gonna put it in the center so you can you know see that highlight and not my crazy under eyes. <laughs> so even taking it over lightly, the um, powder over um, the highlight, you can still see how pretty that highlight is. I'm going to throw on some blush. This is the cream blush from Fenty. I would show you guys, but she does not look cute because I use this excessively. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of that Put it on the center of my face and I'm gonna do my lips this is brown that is literally the color from NYX and I'm gonna do my favorite lip combo right now so it is using this lip liner or any brown lip liner honestly and then I'm gonna take this Revlon um, it is called Nude Illuminator. This is their Shine Lipstick. And you guys, this is the perfect, like, everyday shade. It's like the perfect everyday. Like, this is my lip color, but better. I freaking love it with brown liner. It's just, look at it. So this is the completed look. So thoughts, thoughts. Um, Glowless is a wonderful product if you are looking for a highlight that isn't going to emphasize your texture on your um, skin. Um, I think that this product, honestly, because working with this product on set and working with different skin tones and skin types, dry, oily combination, it did wonderful on everyone, you know, from fair to 
deep dark it was flawless on the skin and um i think that really speaks to the products because everybody has pores everybody has texture but this product the way that it sits on the skin and it melts into um your makeup it just makes it's so user friendly and so easy to love you know there's some products that are out there that like you love them but you know you have to put in some work or you have to use it a certain type of way with this i've used it in skincare i've used it in my spf i've used it by itself i've used it on top of makeup under makeup it's um I i've used it in just several different ways and the product is flawless regardless what you put it through it's just easy to use so it's an easy to love product so it is definitely something that um once you pick up there isn't that like learning curve of the product you know like it's straightforward right there there's different ways for you to use it that would be the only thing that i would say is it's going to be like how you like to use it you could use this with your fingers. You could tap it in with your fingers, flawless. You could use it with a brush if you wanted to, to buff it in, flawless. Or you could use it with a sponge like you saw me do. I've used all three methods, flawless. So it just depends on how you like to use it, but it will work with you. For the shadow reflex, absolutely love the colors. I think that the colors um, do well with every skin tone as well. And then um, specifically Ego, um, Ego is like that neutral grayish tone shadow and so many times we see neutral gray tones for people of color and black women it just doesn't work it looks ashy and this is like the cream shadow is so nice um, and what I also love about this is that um, the PR was sent out to an array of different skin tones so you can find somebody out there that looks like you um, to see how the products look on them and it's just absolutely beautiful the um shadow reflect three colors i will show you the three colors so you already saw ego which i'm wearing right now you saw the cream and the shadow of that and then you have temper temper is like actual true kind of rose gold color that isn't orange <laughs> I know um, Samantha talked about that, like it could be so warm, but this one actually has that true, like kind of champagne-y rose gold look to it. And then you have the cream shadow that is more of a true rose gold. So another thing about these, um, these shades, they are neutral. So because they're neutral, that's why it works whether you're a cool tone or warm tone that's why it works on you um and then this is defiance defiance has been one of my favorites um defiance has been one of my favorites it's a champagne -y color but it's been one of my favorites specifically for the cream the cream and this is such a beautiful bronze shade that isn't just straight up warmth um like a lot of bronze shades are it's like it's perfect um, and I do show this color on my live on Instagram and how easy it is to blend out the cream shadows in real time. So honestly, I think that this collection, even as a working makeup artist, is flawless and easy to use. But then also as an everyday consumer, flawless, easy to use. And like I said, it's an easy to love product. That's what I would like label um this brand thus far um and it is coming out it's launching today i'm pretty sure it's launching 9 a.m pacific time so don't quote don't quote me you can always check out auric is a uh, glow by auric on instagram to see everything there and it um on their instagram they also go over shipping as well so hopefully you didn't miss me too much and hopefully um this is just the introduction to me coming back to youtube with some type of consistency um now that i finally am starting to kind of get my filming together i'm just hoping that it's going to improve and that you know i'll have a better setup so other than that samantha 
I love you, girl. You the best. Um, Love this line. So excited. And I'm so excited for you guys to get your hands on it and try it and feel it and hold the bottle. Holding the bottle alone is an experience, okay? So I'm just so excited for this launch. Again, I could literally scream from the top of the mountains. I could scream. But without further ado, I'm out.